this tournament, Liverpool International, has a quality that no other tournament in the or event in the world has. Just think everything about it is important. First thing, it's in a public park, which doesn't get done anywhere else in this country. Confidence is a preference for the habitual voyeur of what is known as a morning suit can be avoided if you take a route straight. Well, it started up as a, as a pure warm-up event for uh, Wimbledon, for the ATP players. Then we added on the legends in 2004. We've had a fantastic range of, of players here that we're very, very proud of. I get up when I want, except on Wednesdays when I get rudely awakened by the dustman. I put my trousers on, have a cup of tea, and I think about... Ideal preparation for Wimbledon. It's great for the city of Liverpool, and it just does so many good things for tennis. It gives me a sense of enormous well-being. It's nice that tennis is brought back basically to his roots with an event like this. be a bit of my heart devoted to it. Well, I think the people like it from the corporate aspect, they also like it from people who just come buy tickets at the door and they, they like to be entertained and, and, and that's what it does at this event. Without support from, from uh, businesses, uh, th these kind of events wouldn't work. So that's constantly something we're seeking. We're seeking partners that, want to, that we want to develop a relationship with, with and uh, where they will come to us after the event and say, this was a really good event, we want to do, to, do more of this. It's a unique event, I think. I've been to, you know, you can go to the US Open, you go to Wimbledon, but this is unique. The feel of this is, is it's, it's smaller, of course, and it's more intimate, and it's fantastic. And it's not about you joggers who go round, 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 round. It's not just about all the big names. We see children here, all over uh, Calderstones Park, who are getting sort of enjoyment out of it, and that's what we must always remember. It's the enjoyment of tennis. We can play in grass, uh, Liverpool is, is a nice city, uh, the, the team of football uh, very plays Spanish and it's nice to, to be to, to here. People want to see you can play and, and hopefully you can have some fun with it too. And, um, it seemed like the crowd has just been amazing. It's, uh, it's a place that has uh, been, been a long time since, I, since I've been here and very rarely have I ever been here, so to get this kind of response is awesome. So the more kids get involved with the sport and love it, the better athletes we get, the better chance you have of, of developing somebody. So what, what Anders has done here with you know, 50,000 kids having that opportunity, getting a taste of it and some of them staying with it and now you see the result, you know, these kids are good. So this event in Liverpool always attracts some of the top players. I mean, in the past they've had McEnroe playing and they've had Caroline Wozniacki and they've had some of the best juniors, uh, Belinda Benchich, who's uh, the best junior in the world at the moment. We were down to play in the men's doubles uh, unfortunately, they couldn't find any shorts to fit us, so it's been postponed till next year. So we're, we're both going on the diet, aren't we, Les? Yeah, we're for Dunlop to sponsors. Yeah, we're, 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 uh, we're getting we're getting a pair of shorts made by Camel Aids. They'll be ready in July or August. <laughs> opportunity to portray our city in a wonderful light to come here to Calderstones Park and say what a beautiful place didn't know this could happen you know we've seen the development of our city over the last 10 years you know we had the big dig people were waiting for that Liverpool one was you know it's like a phoenix rising from the flames 
that is how good this city has become. And this has been an integral part of selling our city to the rest of not just the country, but to the rest of Europe and the rest of the world. Liverpool in itself, it's got a great sporting history. Um, you think of the football team, you think of you know, whatever. It's it's the golf courses. I mean, it, it's it's a sporting. Cap they said last year after a couple of years ago when they won, sporting capital of the world. Congratulations to Anders and, and the council at Liverpool who've supported this tournament throughout the year, and well done. And may it continue for another ten years.